everyone. This is my JMT gear video. Uh, I did the John Muir Trail with my dad last year from August 18th to September 4th, and it's about time I make my video. So starting with my big three, my pack. It's the Osprey Aura 65, and it is big Bertha. It's a heavy pack, I think it's five pounds. I wish I would have taken my Osprey XOS 58. It's more of an ultralight pack. I was just too nervous that my gear was gonna be too heavy including food for that last stretch um, from MTR to Whitney Portal. Um, so I went with this guy. Uh, good pack. Uh, there was a ton of them out there on the trail last year. Um, it's a women's pack, and I have more of an athletic build. I have very broad shoulders, and um, sometimes I felt like it was almost pinching me wrong. That's why I really like my exos. Um, Enlightened Equipment Revelation 10. I, I went with the quilt. I upgraded um, super lightweight. Uh, it was really warm. I was actually surprised at how warm it was. Um, you get to pick your own colors, dimensions, uh, the down. It was awesome. Plus, I paired it with the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. It's got an R value of like uh, 5.7, ridiculous, super warm. Um, I, up, I upgraded from my Big Agnes insulated Q-Core. That, that was my first pad when I got into this. Um, another great R value pad. Uh, this is just like a whole pound lighter. Gotta, gotta go with the weight. Tent. Um, Big Agnes Copper Spur UL1. Uh, it's a freestanding tent, which is what I wanted when I was looking for solo tents. My dad brought his, his uh, the Big Agnes Fly Creek 2, um, but I, I loved this tent, and um, as well as the pack, there was a bunch of copper spurs out there. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Holes. And then I went with uh, just a piece of Tyvek for the ground sheet. I was too cheap to buy the actual ground sheet. Um, then I also had this little pillow, it's the Sea to Summit Arrow Pillow, Arrows Pillow, and I used my buff that I would wear around my neck or around my, my head as a pillowcase um, so that I'm not just sleeping on, on plastic. Um, right. Cooking system. My dad and I used his uh, Jetboil uh, Minimo or Mimo, I don't know, something like that. Um, we used the freezer bag uh, system for, for our food, so we were just boiling water, and this was perfect for that. When I go on solo trips, I prefer to take my stove, which is the uh, Snow Peak something. <laughs> Um, and then just a little MSR tea kettle that I made my own koozie for. Um, I like my system for when I'm just by myself or with my boyfriend. I don't really particularly care for the jet boils, um, but since we were just boiling water, uh, it was perfect. And then, because we were using freezer bags for our food, we each uh, made our own koozies, put our bag of food in uh, to keep it cooking, to keep it warm. Um, that was nice. You can make these on YouTube. And then a long handled spoon. I think mine is from Tokes. Um, super nice. So you're not getting your knuckles um, nasty food because I've most likely licked my knuckles with dirt and the food on it. Gross. And then dumb, dumb mistake that I did. I brought a whole like mug. Um, I don't know why I brought this thing. I have so many other options. Um, and I use this for my oatmeal and my coffee uh, and my tea at night. Um, and it's heavy. That was, that was dumb on my part. I should have brought my little Guyot designs. These are awesome. Um, water. My dad and I each brought our own Sawyer Mini um, so that we just didn't have to um, share. Um, it was awesome. The bag, the actual bag that came with it popped on uh, our last day, my last day of um, at Guitar Lake. So 
So got lucky there. And then I first started with the Platypus Hoser uh, 2 liter guy thing right here. <laughs> um, and I love these. I use them all the time for small backpacking trips, day hikes. I didn't really care for it for such an extended trip. So I sent it home at BVR and um, I also had one of these with me with the hoser and I just ended up picking up another one so then I was only using these two. I also carry just a one liter um, soft water bottle um, and I use this strictly for uh, electrolyte packets um, and that, my dad and I try to drink as many electrolytes as we could a day. Um, so. Anytime we stop for water or our lunch, snacks, always at dinner, um, and it kept us from cramping and then um, just having a different taste other than water. Um, for the trees, this baggy full oh. oh. um, head net. Uh, I sent this home at VVR because in from August 18th to whenever our time was, we didn't get hit by mosquitoes. And they love me. So we also brought just this, like, not even a half a tube of um, insect lotion repellent. Uh, again, I think I maybe used, used it once. Um, we went at a perfect time. We brought also this little Sea to Summit clothesline. This was awesome. My dad and I would try to rinse out our clothes and especially our socks uh, every day at camp. And uh, this was perfect for just drying little thing of soap um, I used for like my socks and my clothes to put into a big Ziploc bag. Never, never put the soap directly into a water source. Come on folks. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, diva cup, um, a little medicine cabinet, ibuprofen. I took Advil PM every night before bed. A couple Benadryl just in case. I also brought antioxidants. Um, I got sick right before we started hiking on the drive down to California and also, um, yeah, we camped a few nights in Tuolumne and I was, I was pretty sick, so these antioxidants helped a ton. Small tube of sunscreen. Um, I wish I, sh I would have applied this more. I didn't and I got burnt pretty good a couple times on the back of my legs because I didn't bring pants. Um, always important to have sunscreen though. And then uh, just a little... A little hairbrush. Oops. Um, uh, I have very fine, tangly hair, um, so I would brush my hair um, every night, and you know, got it, my hair wet from just the water, um, and it felt good on my scalp. Scalp, and then a couple hair ties just in case. Oh, this tiny little tube of uh, Joshua's Tree's hiker salve that I would use for like my my fingers, my um, nails and everything um because i i watched a ton of videos that people's like fingers were cracking and stuff so i brought this just in case i used it a couple times it was nice and it's so little it's like this, their sample size um this is just my med kit that i like always have an um just change over from pack to pack um some moleskin um, I actually gave a ton away to some girls who were really struggling with blisters early on. A couple band-aids, um, tenacious tape. I have a small thing of, um, like a small little Swiss Army knife and some little, um, fingernail clippers, um, just in case. And then some batteries in there. And a, oh, a little mini Bic lighter. We brought the National Geographic, uh, Jean-Mir Trail Map. There's a bunch out there, different kinds of maps. I like this one, it was great. And then I also brought a um, Write in the Rain journal, which was awesome. I totally suggest bringing a journal, um, just to, you know, when you're done, your thoughts about the day, you know. I wrote a ton of, God, I'm hungry, or my dad's pissing me off, but then just a, a, the beauty when you're out there. I, I mean, trying to write it down was hard, but it's amazing and you want to document it. <clears throat> I think I tried to draw a couple times and I am not an artist, um, but it's kind of fun to do. Can't find it. Um, a little 
Z seat. These are nice. I've had this for quite a while. It's been on quite a few trips, so it's getting a little squished. Um, it was great on the Wonderland Trail because it rained on us almost like the whole time. And so it was nice not having to sit on a wet ground or like a wet log. <clears throat> um, I brought this little like tripod thing. This was pretty cool. I like this um, for my phone so that I could take pictures of my dad and I or videos. Um, took my phone with a life proof case. And that's what oh, we took our photos on. And then my dad and I also brought a, uh, the Sun Tactics solar charger. This thing is super light and it was great, um, worth the money. It charged both our phones very quickly. And I didn't carry all of this. My dad and I split, you know, the stuff that we shared. Um, I brought an Anchor battery pack. I only used this a couple of times and it's heavy. I shouldn't have brought it. Um, we had great weather, so um, I was just nervous about, you know, if we didn't have a lot of sun or something. But. I didn't need to bring it. <clears throat> uh, headlamp, black diamond, I've had this since I started. It's great. Sunglasses. Um, the ladies of the JMT bandana, what what? Uh, and I was I would use my bandana to like clean myself, um, to wash my body. Every time we stopped for water to um, I would take my shoes off and my socks off and I'd soak my feet and um, use this to kind of clean my feet as well. And then I brought this little ShamWow um, to clean either like our um, our tents and stuff uh, from the dew in the morning, so you're not putting away your tent wet. Um, everyone's gotta have one bear canister. It's the uh, the BV 500. Um, I live in Washington, so, so I'm using it still. Um, all right, shoes. My camp shoes are the Bedrock Sandals. These were great, super light. Look them up if you're looking for a camp shoe. Um, I brought trail runners, the Hoka trail runners. <laughs> I had, I already put a few hundred, like a couple hundred miles on these before the JMT. Shouldn't have done that. I thought I was gonna have to do Whitney and Sandals. Um, they almost exploded. But they were awesome. Um, so much lighter than my, my big bulky Solomon boots. Uh, Jerry Girl Gators, I got the whales and sharks. What's up? <laughs> that was dumb, I'm sorry. Um, black diamond trekking poles. Um, these are quite a few years old now. Um, I loved them, they were great. Get core candles. Um, my dad, one of my dad's trekking poles from Costco, um, which were great, I admit. Um, broke though on his descent down from Whitney and I had to loan him one of mine, um, and he could tell the difference. All right, I think I'm on to clothes. Okay, so my sleeping clothes. Um, Patagonia three quarter length, fine for me. Um, just thermal wear, Kathleen thermal wear. And then I slept in an Under Armour just cotton t-shirt. I know it's a no-no, um, but I like to sleep in cotton. And then if I got cold, I brought my Patagonia R1 fleece hoodie, um, and that was fine. And then um, because I have the quilt, it doesn't have like the, the hood like a typical sleeping bag has, so always bring a beanie, just nice to have as well for when it gets cold at night and in the mornings. Um, this one was actually too short, and I had to. Re I sent it home at BVR, and ended up buying another one, which is a little bit longer to keep, you know, stay on my head while I was sleeping, and it was warmer, so bonus. <clears throat> um, the Pat Patagonia Nano Air. Um, I bought this like specifically for this trip. And I, dumb, I shouldn't have. Um, because, I mean, it was, it was nice and all, but I have so many other jackets that I love and that I wish I would have brought. For example, I have two of these, which is the um, Arcteryx Adam jacket. My favorite jacket. Um, try one on at a store. <laughs> You're going to love it. Um, synthetic, but loved it. And I also have down jackets, uh, Arcteryx down jacket that would have been lighter. <clears throat> Rain jacket. <clears throat> Um, I brought one, just another layer. 
This is a little bit heavier because it has the pit zips and it has zippers. Um, so not super ultra light. It's fine. <clears throat> and then uh, I brought a rain skirt. I didn't use it once. It rained on us once on the trip, but I didn't use it. Um, feather light pants that, again, I only wore once and it was on our ascent up to Whitney because we were doing a sunrise summit and it was cold, freaking cold. So it was fine, but I only brought the wind pants because I didn't actually bring pants. My hiking clothes that I wore every day were these men's Adidas running shorts um, with the with the liner and they are the, like this material is different than like the Nike running shorts. I don't know what it is, but um, it, they drive super quickly. Love them. I brought two shirts that I would exchange every day. Uh, the Smart Wool, just short sleeve t-shirt. I shouldn't have brought black. I was hot. And then um, a men's, because I, I liked it kind of baggy. Um, Patagonia Capoline base layer, just the lightweight. This was great. Um, it's got SPF in it. The long sleeve was nice um, for days where you know maybe I did get too much sun exposure just to kind of cover up a little bit. <clears throat> a hat, bring a hat. Um, and then I brought this little headband that I would also use like, around my neck to like um, keep my neck getting burnt. Um, and on days where I didn't want to wear a hat, I would headband. Oh, pack cover. Um, I used it for like. 10 minutes. <laughs> um, and I went heavy duty. I also lined my pack with a garbage, not a garbage bag, a trash compactor. <clears throat> Gloves, uh, ended up getting a hole in them from the trekking poles because I'd wear them in the mornings on those brisk mornings. Um, bring, bring, bring gloves. Um, we met a couple that didn't bring gloves and they decided that they wanted to do the Sunrise Summit as well. And I think they ended up putting socks on their hands, but bring gloves. <clears throat> Three pairs of socks. Um, one to just sleep in, a good thick pair. And then I love the right socks, they're double liner. You will not get blisters in these guys. Love them, they're my favorite um, go-to hiking socks. Um, I actually burnt a hole in one of them, um, one of my pairs. Um, while trying to dry them next to a fire. So I had to buy a, just a pair of socks at BBR. <laughs> kind of funny. And that is it. Um, I hope this video, you know, helps, um, helps you guys in prepping for your JMT, um, adventure, or it helps you just kind of have the courage to maybe apply for the permit because you, it's worth it. You will have a blast. I, I guarantee it. Have fun, guys.